Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the inner world, where our resolve is clear, our purpose is now defined, we know exactly what we need to do, we need to depetrify the orchestra and basically save the world. So uh, in the last episode, we managed to just get away from the clutches of Conroy, who unfortunately petrified Laura and her old man, but um, not before they left us with this um, special bacillion that can now depetrify things, which is awesome. So we're going to be trying to do that there. So uh, yeah, let's uh, let's get to it. Let's look around here. So obviously we're going to need some stuff. Shield. Yes, we can take it. Can we open this? Locked. Locked. Uh, Basilian, anything? Not a bad way to travel. I think I'll call him Fido. Or Rex. Or I should probably focus on saving the world. Indeed you should, Robert. Indeed you should. Uh, break parachute. It's securely attached to the Basilian. I don't want to know how the landing would have gone without this. Yeah, it's a good thing we have that. Um, let's see, flower bed? No, they're not alive anymore. Okay, so I'm guessing we need to kind of get the Basilian up. Let's head over to the wind tunnel and see what's what there. Oh, we've got a Flosfos. A sleeping Flosfos. And we can take it. That's awesome. That is awesome. Okay, so the rings, the symbols... Uh, let's look at them. The symbols on the rings are the notes to the wind anthem. The wind anthem that we have played? Um, we got Peck. Let's take Peck. Come on, let's go save the world. Oh yeah. Peck has finally joined us, as has the fish. I love that. Um, okay, nothing else to do here. Let's go back. Okay, can Peck do something here? Can Peck peck the hood open? That could be fun. Won't help though. No. Okay, let's uh, let's head back to the reception. Have a word with Steve. He might be able to help. Oh, another phosphos. I'm taking it. Oh yeah. So we'll have to remember that there. Um, howdy, Steve. Hello, Steve. Uh, Pete. Uh. Hello, how are you, Your Grace? What can I do for you? Um, the dynasty? We the have dynasty? to save the dynasty. I don't know what you're talking about. The family's doing wonderfully. Mm? Just yesterday, Ocarino Gustus II mm, told me what a great job I'm doing here. Come on, Steve, wake up. What kind of nonsense are you talking about? Stay out of it! <laughs> oh man. Oh dear. Um, are they going to carry on? We have to. No, I don't have to do anything. Oh dear. Yes. Well, thanks for your help. Anytime. Can we take the mirror? Hey, stop it! You, you're not getting the mirror. Give him the mirror. No! Mm. And that's final. Okay, that sounds like we need the mirror. Hey, stop it! Give... No! Let's um, have a word about the mirror. Hello, Steve. Hello. What can I... Why can't I have the mirror? Don't you touch it! Steve, if he wants the mirror, just give it to him. No! <laughs> if you don't... Leave my mirror alone, I will have to ask you to leave. Are you aware of whom you're talking to? That's Ocarino's boy. That's impossible! Mm? The successor is still a baby! But it's me! I mean, that was me. I'm the baby. You don't look like a baby! I must apologize on behalf of my colleague, Your Grace. He's an idiot. <laughs> um, Pete? Pete, can you help me get the mirror? I'll do what I can to convince this ignorant idiot. I heard that! The mirror's not up for discussion! Mm. The boy gave you an order. Who is he to give orders? I don't know why I'm... He's the heir to the throne. We serve the House of Gustus. No, 
he's not. The heir to the throne can't even crawl yet. Hmm? Hey, I can so crawl. I'm actually quite good at crawling. It's been 15 years. There's nothing left of the convent but rubble and ash. Open your eyes. I see no rubble here. I don't know why you keep saying that. Stop it! The king is dead and so is the rest of the dynasty. Shh! And all because you let Conroy walk through the door. Stop it! I didn't This know. is fascinating. It's all your fault. Look around. This is all that's left. No gold and no music. You let misfortune in. No! Oh. Oh, no. Um, okay. Wasn't expecting that. Like, wow. This is, uh... Yeah. This is a whole other level of dissociative mental disorder. All right. Um, can we take a gumball? Yes, we can. Ouch. They're hard as rocks. Can we talk to Steve? Steve? Or Pete? Anybody home? No? Okay, he's out cold. Can we pick up the shards? Probably not. Ouch! I can't pick those up like that. They're way too sharp. Okay, so we're clearly going to need the shards. Um, what do we got? With the gumballs? Well, I could, but I won't. But you won't. Um, can we stick him in the fish? Come, come on. That's just a random guess, isn't God it? God damn it, it is. Um, all right, uh, let's head outside and talk to Gorfalina. Hopefully she's got some, something inside. Oh, another one! We're taking it. Okay, guys, we have three sleeping phosphorses. What's it all about? Hey, Gorfalina. Um, we are what's up? How was your day? A little lonely, but quite nice. I picked an argument with a mosquito earlier. Picked an and argument. It's decomposing in my stomach. The little bugger is giving me bad breath. You can't smell it, can you? No, no, no. So, you can. I knew it. Is it bad? It's hardly noticeable. But we've got a solution for that, haven't we? Bad breath isn't so bad. Just brush your teeth. No. The brush must be made from stainless steel. I've heard chewing roots helps. N that gives me heartburn. But thanks for thinking about me, sweetie. Oh, Gofalina. Oh yeah, for sure, we've got to offer her a gumball. Have you seen the huge bazillions? Sure. One of them gave me a weird look and I gave him a piece of my mind. Yeah. And you weren't turned to stone? Yeah. <laughs> no, I won't let those ugly, hairy brutes turn me into stone. Wow, you're really brave. But I would let you turn me to stone. Oh, steady. Right, maybe later. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think we know what we need to do. It was nice chatting with you. I agree. You're welcome to visit me again. Okay. But alone. Okay. Wait, we are alone. Okay, gumballs. Some gum. Sure, give it here. All right, we need that bubble, right? How she chomps on that gum! I almost sympathize with it. No, it will only make my hands sticky. Okay, obviously. Let's see. What can we grab it with? Can we? Stick it on the shield or something? Let's see. Oh, I see. I see, I see, I see, I see. We get the bubble, and then we can stick the shards onto I the bubble. Do but that. Maybe the fish? That could be fun. Won't help, though. Or maybe a phosphos? Um, let's see. Mm. 
No, now is no time to fool around. No, it's not time to fool around. Um, okay, let's uh, let's head back to the Basilian. Uh, we need we need the shards. I'm quite sure the bubble gum has something to do with the shards. But how do we pick it up? Also, we got three phosphoses. Phosphosi. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. The phosphoses rise, don't they? Can we? A little phosphos is all by itself in the parachute. Oh yeah. Can we put the others? Yeah, because the phosphoses light up and they rise to the air when they um, the when there's music, don't they? So yeah, maybe this is what this is about. Three little phosphos are lying in the parachute. Three little phosphos in the parachute. Okay, I believe that's um, encouraging. Now with a little music. Awesome source. Our good Basilian, Fido, is out of there. Okay, now we've got the de-petrifying eyes. Um, can we do anything with this? I flew here on him. He hasn't been the same since the crash. He's staring at me. Uh, let's... The Basilian's brain is in there. Oh, and there's a button. There's a release button. Can we press that? The button that releases the Basilian's beam. And the eyes... These eyes can de-petrify Aspotians. He is a good Basilian. He is a good Basilian, isn't he? Uh, let's... Wait, no, we can take the eyes. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Now can we bash it? Why should I do that? No, we can't. God damn it. Um... Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Can this somehow... And now if we press this, well, the button that releases the Bazillion's beam. Okay, this is encouraging. Darn, I can't reach the petrified Aspotians with the beam. I can't help them. Okay, so for sure, this here needs to reach the petrified Aspotians. For sure. Looking from here, the petri... Do we need to turn it? Maybe I should turn it a little. Alright, now, yeah, this has to be it, right? Like, that has to be it, right? That has to be it. Uh, let's try turning it again. Maybe I should turn it a little. Oh-ho! My gosh, that could have gone very wrong. Oh, the brain. You can never have too many brains. You can never have too many brains. Um, alright, well, I think maybe the second um, position of the shield is what we need to aim at the wind uh, chapel. But, hang on. We have this brain. Let's, uh... Is this what we need? On the bubble? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Great. Now I can glue things to it. For sure, you know where this is going. You know where this is going. Basilian Brain, get some of those sticky shards. Yeah, baby. Okay, now we have two mirrors. Because this brain with the mirror ball on it is going to effectively act like a, uh... Um, but wait, can this thing still shoot? Let's firstly get the thing into position. Maybe I should turn it a little. Okay, so not that way. One more. Maybe I should turn it a little. Uh, and now let's head back to the wind chapel. Okie dokie dokie. Now, what do we need Peck and the old fish for? We, we got them from here. Which means we probably won't need them here. Got, um... 
Hang on, a hook? Oh, hang on, maybe. Let's look at the decoration quickly. It looks like a hook. Uh, hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. What is this? Basilian beam hole. This is where uh, the... My shot must have missed. I won't be able to depetrify the orchestra like this. You won't, but if we put this thing here... Why should I do that? Because... Uh, well, I mean... On the decoration? I can't do that. Okay, then maybe on the hook? Oh, yeah. That was clever of me. Oh, okay. Alright, I think that worked. Uh-oh. More Basilians. Oh, it's Conroy. Stop right there. Conroy, what, what are you doing here? What are you planning? Come back home, Robert. Come back with me to the palace. That was never my home. You destroyed my home. Yeah. Oh, my boy. Why do you speak to me this way? I'm going to tell you what will happen next. When we both return to the palace, I will find a nice, big chain for you. And you will play my favorite song. Pretty. Clean. One note. Just like old times. I will never ever play for you again. Oh, but Robert, you won't have a choice. You will have to breathe sometime. And by then, I will have taught a guard how to cover your nose holes to play music. What makes you oh, think the Aspersians fiend. will forgive you once they know what you've done? What Aspersians? At this very moment, my army is petrifying anything that moves. Once I'm done with Asposia, I will have built a big, beautiful garden of statues. How could I have not realized all these years what a monster you are? You will have a lot of time to think about that when you're sitting in a cell in the palace. Why don't you just shoot me? Boy, you've always been like a son to me. I would never do that to you. You will have to, because you won't get me alive. I don't get it. Like, what's his end game here? Wanting to... Um... Yeah, is this what we have to do? Wanting to turn what's everyone to stone. To be? Um... That's enough. If I turn you into a statue, at least I can take you with me in a box. Oh? oh. Uh-oh. Okay, we're free? What? How do we do that? Luckily, his weapon doesn't work properly. At least this time. Of course, because he's using a gun. So far, the, um, the Basilians have, like, a, a, a beam, don't they? Um, okay, so let's... What are we doing here? What are we doing? We've got the mirror ball on there. Uh, I think maybe we just need to try it out now, right? Let's go. This, this should work, right? Oh, look, there's another one. Okay, and it has... Con this is Conroy's Basilian. This is a naughty one. Conroy must have secretly followed me here on another Basilian. How could I not have noticed? Let's take the petrifying eyes. Thank you. Um... And I suppose we try... Uh, wait, what do we have to do with the... Why do we have petrifying eyes? Why would we need those? We don't want to petrify. We want to depetrify. So let's let's try it. The button that releases the bazillion's beam. Well, I mean, let's press it. Okay, did that work? Let's see. Okay, didn't work. What? All right. Okay. So I think this is a fail state. So we we didn't do that something right. Don't move. Why should I listen to you? I'm the one with the weapon. 
Good point. Wait, wait. Um. Petrifying eyes? What's that going to be? Um. That's enough. If I. Okay, so that's not it. Maybe we're supposed to throw a peck at him? Or oh, no, maybe, maybe we're supposed to petrify Conroy. weapon doesn't work properly at least this time but wait but how are we gonna do that because he walks in while we're here so I mean it, it has to be that right um hang on hang on hang on hang on hang on well, I could, but I won't. The button that releases the bazillion's beam. Um... The fish, maybe? Oh! I better put this fish on the button. Yes, that's a good spot for the fish. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. And now what? That's just a random guess, isn't it? Do we go back? I mean, is this going to make a difference? I don't know how you were able to unpetrify yourself, but stop doing it. How did you survive the impact of hitting the wall? I asked first. Um, okay. What are we... We got nothing. We got Peck. Let's throw Peck at him. <laughs> I see! Now Peck goes and pushes the button. This has to be it. And Conroy gets petrified. Boom. We've done it. We did it. Son of a bitch, we did it. Conroy's remains? I wonder if one of these stones is his heart. God damn, that's cold. No, we'll bury him later. Bury him later. Um, we have his phosphos pendant. It will always remind me of the most beautiful day of my life. Okay, but that's still not enough. Um. Brazilian beam hole. Oh, so maybe, will this work? Because basically before, why didn't the shot work? Could, but I won't. You could hang this on the decoration? Hmm. Some more pictures here and there. And it would be a lot cozier. Okay, now this should work now, right? The beam comes in, hits there. This here hits the disco ball. And, um... Unpetrifies everything. Right? I mean, it has to. I got nothing else, and this seems to be working. So firstly, let's take out the petrifying eyes. And we put in the depetrifying ones. In the eye socket. Uh, let's see if we can take Peck back. Mind if I take you with me? Oh, Peck. Take the fish. You're coming with me, old friend. Yeah, I think, um, I think that was a good call. Uh, and now... Come on. Boom! Guys, we did it. We flipped and did it. Huh? 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 Who do you 
think you are, rascal, to just waltz into our holy halls? I, uh, I'm Robert. No, you're not. You're Ocarino's boy, and you have grown up. My goodness, how long ago was it that Conroy attacked us with the Bazillions? Oh, you recognize us. Afraid. About 15 years? 15? Holy Phosphos in a can! We will take care of that scumbag. Where is your father? I must speak with him. Yeah, about that. Not so great news. Was that him? Yes, my dearest friend, my old conductor. Is my mother perhaps somewhere here? During the attack, I saw her get turned into stone and broken into pieces. Oh no. I'm so, so sorry, my boy. She was such an intelligent, good-hearted. It's such a shame, such a shame. Oh. But your parents loved you so dearly. You can't imagine how much. Really? Your father would have been proud of you. Ocarino had always hoped that you would lead the orchestra in his place someday. Come on, my boy. Let's do him the favor. Oh, and we now get to play with the whole orchestra. How nice is that? Explosions. I have to help them. But sadly, there's no quick way out of the forest. No worries. I'll just fly there. What? You can fly? No, I'll just ride the bazillion. You ride the bazillions? But they're godly creatures that... No, mine's broken. I'll just have to take Conroy's. Okay, you know the song. I'll be right back. Ah, what a courageous lad. Our conductor. Play loud, you noseless sons of keyboards! Let's blow them away! <laughs> oh, that's brilliant. And everyone's getting to be petrified. That's great. Deaths. Oh, that's worth it. And of course, Pedromino, Laura's father, and Laura. Yes, everybody's unpetrified, including the flute nose dynasty. I suppose you finally has its wind back. <laughs> Great. Does that mean I have to meet your parents now? No, they're dead. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. Oh, yes, me too. No, sorry that, that I'm always mean to you. I actually do it just because I really like you, flute nose. Oh, about time. Oh, hello. Oh. What was that for? That was for saving the world. <coughs> and that's for oh. the kiss. Oh, God. You thought I wouldn't notice. <laughs> of course. That How was apt. Totally worth that was totally it. worth it. That's brilliant. That was brilliant. Oh, what a lovely little game. What an absolutely wonderful little game. i got to say, the ending was a bit um, a a abrupt. I, I thought we might have seen maybe like another minute or two of um, closure or a, a yeah, follow-up you know, to see what, what happens thereafter. But, I mean, oh, that, that was nice. Oh, man, guys, I tell you, it's, it's just little games like these here that just um, 
you know, occasionally they they just come your way and uh, yeah, they just they just present themselves in such a wonderful way. They're just like these nice little one and done, short, fun, cute little adventure games. And I think I'll definitely have to be including a few more on the channel going forward. I mean, this was great. This was absolutely wonderful. I have heard some people say that um, that, uh, that there are a few bugs in the game. I think maybe I encountered one or two, but on the most part, like, it's done. It's it's good. This is a, a decent start-to-finish game. Nice story. It's a bit tricky at times, I gotta say. But then, I don't know if this is down to my lack of experience of adventure games, or just the way adventure games are supposed to work, but like a lot of the, the the kind of logical progressions within certain areas the, the most logical route wasn't always the the, the most clear one I mean th like like in that last one the, the idea of okay we think we need a mirror to get the Brazilian's beam to shoot in the right direction turns out we need a disco ball okay how, how are you supposed to occasion upon that there and um, and even some of the previous episodes just the uh, like what you need and the the the, 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 the thinking of how to get the components to get what you need, it's a, it's a little bit of a stretch. Yeah, thankfully I didn't actually have to use the help system to uh, get through the game. Uh, just to, took a little time at some at some points, but it, it still worked out wonderfully. It still worked out really, really nicely, I gotta say. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna let the credits play out, as uh, this, this was a, a fun one. Well done. Oh, and special thanks to Jonathan for recommending this. Guys, if you like this kind of stuff, then um, you know the usual stuff. Please consider hitting that like button, as it uh, does get the video pushed up the old YouTube charts. It's a big help, of course. And if you like this kind of stuff, and you'd like to see more of it, then um, please consider subscribing, as uh, it is a big help, and uh, I'm always trying to get the old uh, YouTube numbers up. So um, this has been The Inner World. Thank you very much, and I'll see you guys next time.